Um, yes, I do, Wolf. I think there's been a huge um, shift in investor sentiment. I, basically, no one's talked about the January bounce. If you go back into December, um, I would have thought that we would just now be starting to have the market sell off as we go into the Fed meeting um, tomorrow. I think investors now are very fearful, certainly in the middle of yesterday, of losing a lot of money. And so um, Netflix is a good case in point. I think the earnings in Netflix were very positive, but yet they gave kind of muted guidance forward, and you see how much that stock sold off. So I think that in the past, up until now, we were looking for dips to buy. I think you can still buy um, some dips, but I think you have to be very careful because investors are looking for reasons to head to the sidelines because of increasing interest rates and sort of the valuation dislocation. Let's hit some individual stories. GE, one of the biggest losers in the S&P today after reporting earnings. Seema Modi has the details. Seema. Hey, Sarah. Despite gains in aviation, General Electric saw its fourth quarter revenue decline 3 percent. CEO Larry Culp telling CNBC supply chain issues have not eased due to Omicron. When we talk about supply chain, we're really talking about availability of material and labor, be it in our own shops or from our suppliers around the world. We certainly saw, I think, what many, many companies have seen through the course of 2021 with respect to shortages and extended lead time. Culp telling me his team is doing all they can to source, redesign parts, working through new processes with supply partners, and does expect the story to improve mid-year. But still questions pertaining to its renewable business. Culp says onshore wind getting hit by inflation and a delay in a tax credit tied to Build Back Better. Breaking GE, though, into three is still on target. Healthcare in 2023, followed by power and renewable in 2024. Guys, back to you. Seema Modi, Seema, thanks. Eugene, what, what do you do with GE stock ahead of the, ahead of, uh, the split that we're going to see? And, and with some of these revenue pressures coming from supply chains, if you, if you do think that that crunch is going to be temporary, is this stock a buy? Um, I don't own it. I'm not buying it here. I think that if you do own it, you can hold it. GE has come a long way from when it was selling off asset management. And certainly um, with supply chain issues, it's going to be a while before um, earnings are completely um, stable, right? So I think that there are just some better names out there that you can buy that have a little bit better risk reward um, relationship. But uh, that being said, the last two years for GE have been quite positive because uh, the stock has definitely run quite a ways.